Question one, the flavors in a wine tend to taste riper if the grapes are grown, A, in a cool climate, B, in a warm climate. Okay. As a reminder, everyone out there, um, go ahead and put your answers into the comments section, and uh, we will re be revealing here as soon as the Jeopardy music ends. Okay, so this was a level one question. Um, should be pretty easy for those of you who have gone through that level. Uh, the correct answer is B, in a warm climate. Um, in a warmer climate, you tend to have more sunlight and higher temperatures, uh, and that does cause the grape to develop riper aromatic components. Okay, so the next question, also a level one question, which part of the grape contains the sugar? Is it A, the skin, B, the pulp, C, the stem, or D, the seeds? Feeling a lot of the you wine geeks out there will get this one correct as well. Good job on the last on the last one. Okay, we'll wait a couple of more seconds for you to pop in your answers. I see some slowly coming through. Okay, all the not, all of a sudden now a bevy of answers. So go ahead and and um, reveal it. Okay, the correct answer is B, the pulp. Uh, that's that fleshy, most of the time colorless juice that's in the grape that surrounds the seeds uh, and is under the skin. Um, the skins uh, tend to uh, have all of the aromatic components and things like anthocyanins and um, color uh, compounds. The stems um, don't contain any sugar at all, and as well as the seeds, they tend to provide a bitterness um, to them, as well as a few aromatic compounds that can come out in the wine. Um, but the sugar in the grape comes uh, from the pulp and is located there. Okay, if you're making a white wine, when do you press it? A, before fermentation, or B, after fermentation? Okay, Janet, go ahead and reveal. Okay, the correct answer is A, before fermentation. Um, so remember, when you're pressing the wine, you're separating the juice from the skins by pressing the grapes down. Um, and we want to do that with a white wine before we ferment it because, as I said in the previous question, the color compounds are in the skins, um, and we don't want any of that color um, coming into that white wine. Um, so we're going to press it away from those skins before fermentation. 